welcome to gcd technologies skills required to become a software tester see first introduction software testing is the process of evaluating a system or its components with the intent to find whether it meets the specified requirements or not software testing can be done in two ways one is manual testing another is automated testing or you can say automation testing some types of testing some types of testing are done in both the ways like manual testing and automation testing example functional testing you can conduct functional testing in manual testing as well as using test tool automation testing next some types of testing is done by only manual testing for example usability testing human user only can judge the look and feel aspects of the system and some types of testing done by automation testing only for example performance testing see <coughs> performance testing manual performance testing is impractical suppose if you want to apply 5000 users load it is impractical in manual testing using a test tool you can create 5000 virtual users and apply the load next software testing can be conducted in four test levels unit testing integration testing system testing and acceptance testing testers may vary from one level to another uh, we independent testers conduct testing at system testing level okay next software testing subjects what subjects required for soft conducting software testing one is manual testing another is automation tools like selenium uh, or uft or rft or test complete next if it is performance testing j meter or load runner etc next supporting subjects for software testing say manual testing is direct subject automation tool is direct subject supporting subjects for uh, software testing one is operating system knowledge like ms windows unix mac etc next ms office like documentation package next third one computer programming uh, java or python for automation testing next fourth one database knowledge sql uh, if possible no sql next academic background say <coughs> computer science background academic education is preferable nowadays preferable for software tester jobs btech be mca bce sorry bca bachelor of computers application computer applications bsc computers will land you a job quickly next if you do not hold any of these degrees uh, then you must complete a software testing certification like istqb or cst etc which help you to which help you learn software development and software testing life cycle as well as uh, they provide some advantage to your resume next technical skills say manual testing skills manual testing skills see manual testing is not a technology uh, is it a technical skill or non technical skill no it is not a technology manual testing is not a software but subject skill only say in manual testing knowledge of sdlc software development life cycle knowledge of stlc software testing life cycle next software test levels uh, unit testing integration testing system testing acceptance acceptance testing next test types functional testing non functional testing and test design techniques white box test design techniques black box test design techniques and the experience based techniques
knowledge. Next, knowledge on hands-on experience of automation tool. If you see yourself as an automation tester after a couple of years working on manual testing, then you must master a tool and get in that hands-on knowledge of automation tool. Uh, example, learn uh, Selenium or test complete uh, for functional testing. JMeter or load runner for uh, performance testing. Next, knowledge of any programming language like Java, anyone, anyone programming language, then you can learn other languages easily. Uh, knowledge of any programming language like Java, Python, VB script, Java script, C sharp is always helpful as a tester if you are looking for a job into automation. Next, basic knowledge of database SQL. Software systems have a large amount of data in the background. Uh, this data is stored in different types of databases like Oracle, MySQL, MS SQL Server. Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, etc. Uh, in the back, back end. So, there will be situations when this data needs to be validated. Next, basic knowledge of Linux commands. See, nowadays, Microsoft Windows, Windows knowledge is default knowledge for every IT professional. Uh, and uh, you concentrate Linux commands also. Most of software applications like web services, databases, application servers are developed on Linux machines. So it is crucial for testers to have knowledge about Linux commands. Next, knowledge and hands-on experience of a test management tool. See, test management tool is an important aspect of software testing. Without proper test management techniques, software testing process will fail. Test management is nothing but manage your, te manage your testing related artifacts, uh, ALM uh, or JIRA or test link tools. You will learn any one. Next, knowledge on, knowledge and hands on experience of any defect tracking tool. Defect tracking and defect life cycle are key aspects of software testing. It is extremely critical to managing defects properly and track them in a systematic manner. Defect tracking becomes necessary because the entire team should know about the defect including managers, developers and testers. Several tools are used to log defects including ALM, Application Lifecycle Management, Bugzilla, Jira, etc. See, ALM, Jira are manage, project management tools. If you use them, they support uh, test case design. Next, uh, uh, requirements management. First, test case management and uh, defect management. If you want to use only defect management tool, for that you can go for Bugzilla. Suppose, if you want to, if you want to do Test management, you, you can go for ALM or Jira. That depends on your company. Say, <coughs> conclusion, defect management is part of test management. If we use any test management, any one test management tools, you need, need, you need not to select defect management tool separately. Suppose if you want only a defect management tool, not using any test management tool. For that, you can select or your company selects Bugzilla or Mantis, etc. tools. Next, non technical skills. Non technical. See, apart from technical skills, non technical skills also important for IT professionals, not only testers. First one, analytical skills. A good software tester should have 
sharp analytical skills analytical skills will help break up a complex software software system into smaller units to gain a better understanding and career and create test cases next communication skills Communi communication skills uh, a good software tester must have good verbal and written communication skills testing artifacts like test cases plans test strategies bug reports etc are created by the software tester should be easy to read and comprehend next time management and organization skills next great attitude next passion so these are the important technical and non technical skills for software testers thank you